Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Accolade here. Finally excited to bring you some footage of the summoner. That's right. The devs have finally decided to bestow her power upon us. I don't think we're ready. She is too powerful. She must be contained. But on a more serious note, I don't actually think she's too strong. I think she's just pretty well balanced. Obviously, she doesn't have a lot of abilities at the moment that we can actually choose from. But, uh... The one ability that you can definitely change out is her right mouse button, her primary ability. And right now, what you're seeing is called Abyssal Bolt. And basically you chuck that after a slight charge up and it does a lot of AoE damage pretty fast. And then it does an explosion for around 200 damage. Throughout the many games that I was actually playing with her, I did swap that out a few times because there were certain situations where I felt the enemy team couldn't really avoid Abyssal Bolt, but then on other games, the team just was never standing still, so I could never get the AoE damage or uh, the explosion damage to actually hit them. So the ability I actually swapped out for is her only other one at the moment, called Hell Strike, and after a slight charge up, she releases, like, I don't know how many little bolts it is, but uh, she releases a few of them, and then they go to the targeted location and explode for around 400 damage depending on how close they are to the middle of it if they're dead in the middle of it it'll definitely hit 400 but if they're closer to the edge i think it hits around 80. so as you can see right there i'm still trying to get used to the summoner's playstyle because i could have used my shield and i probably would have survived that encounter with that prophet unfortunately i didn't so that kind of sucks so when i was recording this footage i <laughs> It was close to release date, so obviously there's a lot of people playing the summoner, or at least they wanted to. So uh, I think a couple people tried to avoid playing it so we wouldn't have like a full team of summoners, because I don't think that'd really be fair, since if you really wanted to, you could just sit way in the back and start spamming your hell strikes and abyssal bolts uh, when they come off cooldown. But uh, yeah, so her I'll move on to her second ability now, and that's called Summon Stalkers. Uh, she's also got another one. It's basically you summon a slayer, but the difference between the two is basically the health pool and the fact that the slayer, which is the one primary one that's got more health, it has to be targeted on somebody. So it's kind of like the reaver pounce when you lock on to somebody. You still have to lock on and then you can summon them and it's basically just charges after that person no matter what. So it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it doesn't definitely does enough to chase them down if they're pretty low. Unfortunately, at this time, since there was a lot of people playing the summoner, there was a glitch that was happening with the stalkers. I'm not sure if it was also happening with the slayer, but they would glitch out and they would apparently just never die. They'd have like some unending health pool of craziness and uh, they would just start attacking people for no reason. They didn't do any damage, but uh, they were just basically immune. So that can be pretty annoying since they can block a lot of the shots. It was even more annoying when we had... Uh, I think it was about, yeah, the enemy team was about full of summoners, I believe, and they all summoned stalkers, and about three sets of them actually glitched, so some person on my team was just getting ripped on for about uh, a whole three minutes, just from stalkers, and uh, they didn't really, they, of course they didn't do any damage, so it was just annoying to have them, like, attack you and glitch out and all that fun stuff. I don't know, I thought it was pretty funny. I kind of felt bad for my teammate, though. So since I've talked about her first two abilities, I might as well talk about her third one now, and that's her shield. So that's her F ability, unless you've changed the keybinds, of course. Uh, it blocks all incoming damage, except for what I've noticed is that it does not block any damage from, I think, traps. Traps, of course, in volley. So uh, it might actually it might block a trap ability from a scout, like the bomb one, but uh, not the turret one. I know that doesn't work for sure, because I've actually tried it, and uh, of course I died miserably. But here's a good uh, explanation, or a visual, of me using the shield. And it made me feel like Neo from the Matrix blocking all the bullets in front of me. It was pretty cool. So like I was saying before, it took me a little bit to get used to the playstyle of the summoner. But one thing I've definitely learned is that as long as you summon your stalkers in first, then you'll have a high chance of them soaking up the damage instead of you, especially when you're versing an alchemist, because alchemists only have, like, the cannons, so... So as long as your stalker's in front of you, then they're gonna take the front of the damage, and you can sit in the back and 
set up a nice charged ability, a nice little charge attack, which uh, I've actually been using a little bit more of. Uh, finding more use to them, obviously, because a nice well-placed charged attack, especially around a wall when they can't see you, I find that they can take out even the most skilled players pretty easily, as long as uh, they're low enough. So a quick thing I'd like to mention before I end this video is that I'm almost reaching a thousand subscribers quite quickly, I might add. I'd just like to thank you guys for all the support you've given me and commenting on my videos. I do read all the comments, even though sometimes I don't have time to reply to them all. I apologize for that. <laughs> sometimes there is a lot of comments and I just run out of time. So like I was mentioning about the 1,000 subscribers, uh, once I reach that, I'd like to put out some sort of special video for you guys to thank you guys for all your support and all that. So if you guys have any ideas about a video for that, let me know in the comments below, and hopefully see you guys in the next one.